Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'm gonna teach you how to play the first break from Wagon Wheel. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up so other people have access to it as well. And if you're not subscribed to The Tune Project, be sure to hit that red subscribe button below and the bell so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. So for this song, we are in the key of A major, which means we have three sharps. So be sure that you play an A major scale before getting into this just so that your fingers are familiar with the finger pattern. So to start, we are on an E natural on the D string and we have a little eighth note scale walking up to the A string. Okay, so like I said, we had that little walk up to the A string and then we had a triplet so I played that triplet on a slur just because I find that all of the triplets that we have in this first break are easiest when they're played with slurs instead of separate bows. And it kind of makes it a little bit smoother when you go along and if you start to add double stops and things like that, it can just kind of smoothen things out. So that's optional, but I'm gonna be showing you these triplets in here with slurs. For the next phrase, we're starting off with two eighth note triplets. So we're starting on our first finger B on the A string. <laughs> probably noticed by now if you're at all familiar with different types of rhythms that I am playing these eighth notes in a swung rhythm because if you're familiar with Wagon Wheel, which if you're here you probably are, then you would know that a lot of this tune is swung. Instead of having straight eighth notes where we play it exactly one and two and three and four and it's a little more one and two and three and four and it's a little more swung and we have the long short long short long short feel going on here so you'll notice as i'm going through that's how i'll be playing it and you're welcome to join me in that as well for the next phrase we have mostly eighth notes going on and we're starting off with an open a <laughs> So those are our eighth notes that we have. Moving on to the next little section here, we still have eighth notes that we're starting on and this time we're beginning on a C sharp. So again with the swung eighth notes, this time they're taking us all the way down to the G string. So make sure that you're familiar with that lower range on the fiddle and with that C sharp that we had, that high, third finger make sure that you are able to stretch all the way up there and you might have noticed too that I used my fourth finger for that A so that we didn't have to hop to the A string between those two F sharps so you're welcome to do that as well if you feel like it would save you a little bit of effort and then finally for our last phrase we are ending on the G string so all within that lower range. So make sure that you bring your elbow forward so that all of your fingers are able to stand up nice and tall and reach as necessary those notes. And we also have another triplet in here. So watch out for that rhythm, making sure that you're in time still with this time signature that we have. <laughs> to catch both of those triplets there in that last phrase and add those slurs in as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning that first break of Wagon Wheel. Hopefully you enjoyed it and are able to practice it a couple times and get familiar with it. If you're interested in a tutorial for the second and third break, please leave a comment below and I would be happy to do so if you guys are interested in that. And until next time, happy practicing. If you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I link in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.